Hey guys, it's Jackson here today, and I'm going to share you guys a story. Cue the intro. So today this is a very special story, um, and since it's such a good story, I had to bring um, one of the people who was the victim of this story in to talk about it with me. So, here he is. What's up? My name's Christopher. I've been friends with Jackson for like nine years. Um, we'll just get right into the story. Okay, so, the story, as you can tell by the title, is how I broke my friend's tooth. Now, this was an interesting one. Um, it was like probably the first part of the, probably the first time we ever did something that was very dumb. We, we, I mean, we, we've done many things that are dumb. I have, I'm going to save those for later stories. But, as you guys noticed, I've been telling a lot of childhood stories, which is what I'm going to be doing for the first month or so, because I want to save the high school stories for a little bit, high school and late middle school stories late for a little bit later, because, um, those are a bit more spicy, and I want to save those for when when I start hitting milestones and stuff and I have a lot of really really insane stories and I have a really good good high school and middle school have just been crazy times for me so we're just gonna hop into the story really quick so it started off on just random I think it was probably a Friday or Saturday and I, uh, Chris called my mom and said hey can Jackson come over and I'm and, and I was like mom can I please go over and she, my mom's like okay you can go over so um I went with Chris to his house after school, and we just we were just chilling, and I spent the night. I ended up being able to spend the night, and we just decided that night to um, rough house, just just beat each other up and have. We were just having a ball, but yeah. So imagine like some odd fifth graders just beating each other up, having fun. And in my house, we have all hardwood floors and a couple of um, hallways that lead into, like, the bedroom areas. And so, it was nighttime. It was probably, like, 8, 9, because, you know, we were getting ready to... to yeah, we were getting ready to, like, go into our um, beds and just, like, fuck around for the next hour. And so everything was bitching, and we just, like... We tried to rough house, and... Uh, Jackson, you want to continue the story? Yeah. So, this is where it starts getting crazy, because I was, um, we were just beating each other up, like, pounding on each other for little kids. We were doing a pretty good job. We were just having the funnest time. Like, it didn't really matter to us that we were getting hurt. We just wanted to have fun. So we are just running around the house, pushing each other on the floor, and just, and you know, like he said, it's hard before, it hurts. And, um, we were just having just the greatest time in the world. And we were running around, and I was chasing after Chris, and he stopped, and so, oh, somehow I grabbed his legs, and he grabbed onto the handle of the door. And so, I grabbed onto the handle of the door, and the handle was slippery, because it's not used very often. I'm pretty sure it was like the one two times, so it was kind of like, uh, cold. And my hand just slips after Jackson is grabbing onto my feet and pulling me, trying to like bring me to the floor. And so my hands slip, and I belly flop onto the floor, like flat out, just. And then, and I basically go like head first, and it's just like a, a worm hitting the ground, doing a snake. Um, and my uh, the f- front tooth, like my right front tooth, just. It was pieces like on the ground everywhere, and there's blood dripping around. It takes like a minute for me to internalize what was happening before like I called out, "Hey, uh, I think I broke my tooth." I was just like crying the whole time, and uh, yeah. And then we had to. It took a while to clean up. We were trying to find pieces of my tooth all scattered throughout the hardwood floor, and there's still a dent in my uh, in the floor to this day. Now, when I tell you. We looked back there. When I tell you there was a fat chunk of tooth, it was it was huge. Like there was a big ass white piece, a big chunk, right on the ground. It was huge. And 
I we were, we were just freaking out because we didn't we didn't know that like all this modern dentistry stuff you couldn't even tell that he lost his tooth. And it might even have been I don't think it was a baby tooth, was it? No. It wasn't. No. They like you would never know. And so we were freaking out. We're like, oh, he's gonna look like that forever. And we were just so scared. And he would smile. And what his big, like, front right tooth was all jacked up. I think it was actually his left tooth. Um, but it was just crazy. Like, for little kids, when you hurt someone like that, you really get scared. Like, and we, we really thought he was gonna be jacked up forever. But then we realized. That it, w it was just gonna get fixed, but we were actually gonna go to the movies, and since we got in tr we got in trouble for doing that, we didn't get to go to the movies. And I mean, we've done a lot of stuff. We've broken men numerous windows. Um, <laughs> we'll save those stories. For later. I'll combine the broken windows and the two broken windows in one. But um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've done so much stupid stuff. We've I don't know. Not smart. Back to the story. Um, a couple minutes later, I'm like leaning over the sink, still bleeding, and finally my mom like actually checks out and sees that there's a big chunk of white on the ground and a big chunk of black in my mouth. And so the next day, we just like go straight to the uh, dentist and get like a fake piece of uh, tooth. And at the beginning, you could tell like. I had white teeth, or uh, like part of a white tooth, and the rest was like yellow. <laughs> I did not take care of my teeth, um, <laughs> and so it eventually kind of fed in. The plaque that I had on my teeth got off, you know, and stuff. And so to this day, I still have the fake tooth. Now. As we've been telling the story, I've decided to add a little bit. This is going to be a longer video. I'm going to tell another story here. And this is going to be the first time Chris has heard this too. Even though I told him a lot of stories. So this is really interesting. So, probably, since it involves teeth getting broken and stuff, I've had my fair share of teeth getting messed up. So, um, it was on this uh, normal day. I was really young, probably like three years old. I, I had my dumb ass was running from, so there was like the couch, so like it was the couch, and then to the, if you're, if you're looking at, at it, um, uh, say, like, you're looking straight, the couch is on the right, and it's coming, um, vertically, and then horizontally there's another couch, and then there's like a little, like, TV, like coffee, what's like, kind of like a, little table and it was made by my uh, grandpa and then between it, and that little table is between the couch and my dad's big big overstuffed chair and what my sister and I were doing is we were getting on one of the couches and we were running and we just run in the circle we go from the vertical couch and then we turn left and go on the big couch and then we'd run on top of the um uh little coffee table that my grandpa made or and then we'd run on my dad's um over some chair and we'd, we'd keep on going in rotation and with that that um table where next to the chair was just taking a beating and it was old it was made by my grandpa or i think even his dad it was made by my grandpa's dad my great grandpa and um it was just getting beating and finally as i run on it it breaks and so, you know those like wooden pieces that are underneath the um, like the chairs, and it, and it helps them so they can stay on the ground. They rock. Well, I landed straight onto that with my teeth, both of my, my my two front teeth just right on there, and it's just gushing out blood. And my teeth went from fully out to all the way back up in my mouth. I'm not I'm not even lying. My mom was freaking out because my teeth went all the way back up inside me. And it was hurting really bad, and it was bleeding really bad. We went to the dentist, and he said that it would be okay. And when my permanent teeth put out, they would, they would, they would uh, push back out. And they ended up doing that. But then my other teeth came in super crooked. But um, 
yeah, that was the time I hurt my teeth. It was very painful. It was just bloody. Just landed straight on my two front teeth. Both of them pushed right back up inside my my head. It was painful, but anyway, we're gonna leave you off with with that two with those two stories. Those were some really nice stories. Um, I wasn't planning on telling either of those this early on, but since we're doing the childhood story series for the first month, I'm gonna be uploading every single day. I'm gonna miss this one because I'm at my friend's house and I'm gonna have gameplay to upload with it. But I'm gonna keep consistent every single day. It's gotta be hard, but I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And um, between me, me and Chris here, we're just gonna leave you off with uh, with two stories. So we'll talk to you later. Peace.